What's up, y'all? This is Bob, you bastard, on the Marshall Ray channel. Getting ready to make some more barbecue. Now, I live for barbecue. I love it. I could eat it every day. My wife would probably divorce me, but you got to have your barbecue, man. Anyway, so what we're going to do today is we're going to barbecue a meatloaf. And this isn't so much about... Uh, about the recipe as the fact of, as it is to show you how you would just make your regular meatloaf how you would make it and put it on the grill to do it it's not a big deal it's really easy uh, get a good smoky flavor on it not too smoky just a little bit trust me it tastes way better way better you can barbecue cereal for all I care there's no reason not to barbecue anything I barbecue my dog's food that's how good it is my dog loves me look see she loves me all right anyway enough of Molly She'll probably be in the video a little later anyway. But here's the meatloafs right here. This is my wife's, this is mine. We make two different meatloafs because she likes big ass chunky onions in it and I don't. And uh, I like to put a little vagina shaped bacon on mine. No, just kidding, I just did it like that because uh, if I did it, if I didn't do it, it hang over the edge, you don't want it flaring up and getting all fiery and shit. Anyway, uh, again, this is just a regular meatloaf recipe so you can pretty much do whatever you want as far as making a meatloaf goes. I'm just going to show you how to cook it on the grill and how long you need to leave it on there, which temperature should be like, how to arrange the coals, the whole nine yards. Anyway, let me get it out there on the grill because it's ready to cook and I'm getting ready to eat. All right. So here we are outside. There's the grill. Hold on. There's the grill. There's the coals to one side. As you can see, that's called indirect grilling. You don't want to put the grill all over the place. You don't need so much goddamn uh, coal or fuel, as we call it. You want to just put it on one side. Now, that's when you're grilling most of the stuff you're going to grill because you don't want it to burn. You don't want it to get, uh, you just don't want it to get too hot too quick. So we're going to put the meatloaf on this side. The grill right now is about 350 degrees. I have a temperature thing over here. You can barely see because all the grease and smoke on it, but it's about 350 degrees. I'm going to put a little bit of hickory on here, just kind of dump it on there. That's all you need. You don't need too much because you don't want to get it too, too smoky. If I was smoking something for longer, I would put a couple more handfuls on over the past few, next few hours. This is only going to take about 40 minutes to an hour to make. And uh, basically, I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to choke the heat off a little bit on the bottom there so it doesn't get too, too hot. And uh, we're going to cook it. Anyway, here is the meatloaf right here. Oh, I dropped the goddamn thing. Oh, see how this is over here? This is over here, that's over there. This is here, this is there. We eat this, we don't eat that. Don't eat the goddamn coals. I keep telling people that. I keep getting emails, people eating the goddamn coals. And the reason I said that is because one time I slipped up and I pointed, I said, you eat that? And they, and, and they, they got all fucked up. So don't eat the goddamn coals, all right? Look, I thought I wouldn't have to say this, but you know how people are. Some people, you know, you, you know, you know, you know who I'm talking about, right? You, everybody's got one. Everybody knows one. Don't eat the fucking cold. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I should probably bleep it out. Nah, teach your kids to curse. They're gonna do it anyway. All right. So in about eh, 40 minutes to an hour, actually, I'm gonna come back here and check on it in about eh, probably a half hour to see what the temperature is. I always test the temperature of my food because barbecue is about time and temperature as long as you know what the proper temperature is for the cut of meat that you got and what consistency you're going for you'll have perfect perfect barbecue every time i can't talk anyway i am going to uh finish my cook here and i'll get back to you and show you the finished product there's not a whole lot else i have to do it's it's done it's it's done it's done i'm just i'm just getting hungry all right all right see it okay it's been about a half hour since i put these on maybe 35 minutes Let's check on them. Look at how yummy they look. Still need a little bit more time. They ain't quite done yet. But uh, they're cooking. The grills are hot. The grills. The coals are hot. And uh, we'll be back in about another 15 minutes or so. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I might actually edge them over a little bit. Uh, after I turn this camera off, I might edge them a little bit closer to the coals and crisp it up a little bit more. And then, uh, and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, this is the finished product here. What you have here is two smoked grilled meatloafs. I cut into mine a little bit to show you how uh, how that should look on the inside there. You got a nice like reddish brown, uh, uh, 
almost looked like it was baked on the outside. Um, uh, nice color to it. And uh, there's really not a whole lot to it. It just has a nice smoky outdoor flavor to it. You got to add the bacon. Even if you don't like bacon, my wife don't like me. She don't eat the bacon, but she likes the flavor it gives the meatloaf. So uh, if you want to try it out, enjoy it. Leave a comment, whatever. We're going to have some mashed potatoes and corn with it. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, I want my second help, and I had to show you what, um, what it looks like when, when it's on the plate. I put a little bit of my barbecue sauce on there, and one of these days, if you're lucky, I'll give you the recipe. Who knows? Anyway, uh, it's really good. I use it on chicken. I use it on beef. I use it on pork. I use it on everything. I eat it on my damn cereal. But it looks good. We got the mashed potatoes. We got the corn, because that's the only way you eat meatloaf. We got some bacon down there. I know your mouth's watering. Anyway, hope you have fun making this if you ever do. If not, well, you know, go eat at McDonald's. See ya.